Hey guys, many of you know that cleaning your tongue is an important part of your everyday brushing and flossing routine. But what most of you don't know is which way is going to work best for you. We all know that the tongue can harbor bacteria that can leave your breath really stinky and that harmful bacteria and plaque sits in the grooves of your tongue in the little nodules in the middle and all the way in the back of your tongue. So in this video, I'm going to show you three effective ways to clean your tongue and I'm going to show you each way individually so that you can visually see how the plaque is getting removed from your tongue. So the first method that I'm going to show you is to use the back of your toothbrush. Now many of you have purchased a toothbrush that has these little groovy little things on the back, these little rubberized uh, little nodules that are to um, help get into the little grooves on your tongue and you just start in the back and you go down uh, down the middle of the tongue because it's the back and the middle where all the bacteria is. You can also, if you have um, a Sonicare toothbrush, you can use the uh, tongue care mode and actually um, use the vibrations of the toothbrush along with along with the little nodules to help clean your tongue back. Before I started this video, I actually brushed my teeth with a plaque identifying toothpaste, like this toothpaste, the Plaque HD. You could also use plaque tablets or the plaque solution just to see the plaque on your tongue, but this is the preferred method. It's water soluble, so it's not gonna really stain your lips or your teeth or anything. It's really just sitting on the plaque. So as you can see, my tongue is a subtle shade of green at this moment. So if you're using the toothbrush method, you're just going to turn your toothbrush on and you can see right away, this is the uh, Sonicare Diamond Clean Smart. I just did a product review of this one and it knows that it's on the tongue care mode. It has a uh, high, medium, and low setting. So I'm just gonna put it on uh, low I'm just going to show you, you just start from the back and work your way to the middle. So, so you can see there's some disturbance of the plaque from my tongue, but I probably would need to rinse with some warm water just to get some of that mucus layer off of my tongue. Now the second method that you can actually use is to use a actual tongue scraper. This one is from Breath RX and one side is more um, harder and one side is more soft. So um, depending on you know if you're using the hard side maybe more days in a row I notice my tongue is a little sensitive so I might be pushing a little bit too hard but you just bend it a little bit and you just stick your tongue and you just scrape your tongue and you can scrape the sides of your tongue. So you can see there's still some disturbance but I only use the regular side so there's still some uh, mucusy uh, plaque film on my tongue. The third method that you can use that everyone should have in their kitchen is to just use a spoon. If you don't have a toothbrush with a scraper on the back or you don't have an actual scraper that you've gotten from your dentist, then you can just take the side of the spoon and you just go along the sides like uh, brushing and scraping your tongue like this. Now that actually seemed to be really effective. I actually see some of the plaque on the spoon. So that's three simple methods that you can use to scrape your tongue to keep your breath really fresh. Now it's also important to know that bad breath isn't always caused by not cleaning your tongue. Although it's true that all the bad breath bacteria in the mouth is sitting on the tongue and most of the time a halitosis bad breath is because of the bacteria on your tongue, either because the bacteria is not being cleaned off of your tongue, or your mouth is really dry, you're not drinking enough water, or you're drinking a lot of 
things or eating things throughout the day that are just making you dehydrated so your mouth is dry and therefore everyone can smell your stinky breath. So it's really important to know that besides the bacteria on your tongue just being localized to your mouth, the smell that could be coming from your mouth could also be coming from a sinus issue, a GI issue, it could be from a kidney problem or respiratory problem, it could be your tonsils. Any of these odors can be coming from deep within and coming out of your mouth and that's what people are smelling in your breath. There's many ways to mask the odor, but if you've had your dental checkup and you're still having really bad breath, Definitely, I would say it's super important to check with your primary doctor and just, you know, get that checked out, figure out what's going on. If you know you're cleaning your tongue and you're still having some bad breath, then, you know, at least find out if there's something else going on. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and learning different ways to clean your tongue, remove the plaque from your tongue, and to cle clean all the little grooves um, and plaque off of the areas of your tongue that harbor um, all that bad breath. So thanks so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to my channel and comment below if there's any more videos you'd like to see or any questions you might have about bad breath, cleaning your tongue, or this plaque identifying toothpaste so that you can see the plaque in your mouth, on your teeth, or even on your tongue. Thank you so much for watching.